you can't copy sharepoint side pages from one site to another site or maybe from one site to a different folder or a document library within the same site there is no out of box functionality to actually do that so in this video we're going to have a look how to basically copy the sharepoint site pages maybe it's the home page or other pages that you have configured from one site to another site let's go check it out so we currently have this sharepoint site which is basically a communication site and you have configured this site layout so you know currently i have a um, hero uh, web part on this page and I, I have basically customized this page to suit my needs right so i basically added some um, latest news items and some monthly qas and on my right hand side i have some recent communication so you basically modified your site but now you have um, done all the hard work and you basically have another site where you want to basically copy all of your hard work so that you don't have to repeat it right so this is the home page of internet demo which is currently blank and i want to basically copy the home page of this leadership connection site to my internet home page um, you might think that yeah you can just do a copy but unfortunately if i go to site contents and if i go to the site pages and any of the site pages there is no option to copy so if i select this page i can rename this there is a copy to option so if i select this option what it does is it basically only gives me an option to copy this file to the same location it doesn't give me an option to copy this file to a different location right so that's the limitation we have but we want to copy this to a different site or maybe perhaps to a different folder you can actually do that okay let's see how to do that so what we need to do now is we need to use power automate so what i'm going to do is i'm going to log on to power automate so you go to powerautomate.microsoft.com right once you are on the power automate site you might have to sign in um, and then once you are signed in what we need to do is we need to create a flow it's a very simple flow right so we click on create and then we want to do instant cloud flow because we want to trigger it manually um, but you can actually have it created automatically as well so you know if there is if there are certain events happen so if the file is modified you want to copy that file to um, you know the, that location you want to copy to you can use different flows so i'm just going to use the instant cloud flow and i'm going to um, click on create and we want to manually trigger the flow so i'm going to select manually trigger and then create right now i have this action i want to now add another action to basically copy the file so i click on plus add action and on my left hand side i'm going to search for copy and here you go right i have this copy file um, action there is another one which is basically depreciated by microsoft so i'm going to use this one and click on in app and from there i now need to configure something so i need to provide what is my current site that i want to copy from which is my basically my source so which is the leadership connection and then i'm going to click on this open folder option and i'm going to go to site pages and then select the file i want to copy right so that's the home.aspx i want to copy from leadership connection so i'm going to select that and then now i have to select my destination site's address so my destination site address is basically intranet demo so i'm going to open the drop down and i'm going to select intranet demo next i need to provide a destination folder which is basically the location i want to copy this file to so i'm going to click on this open folder again and i'm going to select site pages right now this one is basically what do you want to do if you already have the same file there so currently i obviously have home.aspx 
uh, which is the home page of this site uh, of the internet demo site right um, I can overwrite this or I can create a new file right so I'm going to choose I'm basically going to copy with a new name so that I you don't accidentally overwrite your existing file in case you want to you know still use your old file okay so once you've done that then um, I'm basically going to um, test the workflow so let's just make sure this is all fine so that looks all good now once this is all done and I'm going to click on save right so when you save it then obviously it gives you an option to test your workflow so if I go back to my internet demo I only have two files there home.aspx and topic home right if I go back and click on test um, and click manual because this is a manual workflow and I'm going to click test now it's going to basically run the workflow so I click on continue and uh, run flow right and then we click on this flow runs page just to make sure what's happening with this flow so the flow is currently running and if I refresh this it's actually succeeded right so let's just go back to internet demo and I can see that home one dot ASPX is there right now if I open this page you will see that it has copied everything so all the images are there these are all the links if I scroll down it has added all of the sections which I had on um, you know leadership connection side everything is there right um, but obviously all the links and everything is currently also pointing to the leadership connection side now if you if you are happy for this to point to, to the leadership connection side that's fine but if you want to change it you can obviously edit um, the page and then you can edit these particular sections and, um, and let me click on edit again and then obviously you can change this text so let's just say new let add new there um, you know if you want to change the background image you can do that you can change the um, link um, as well so you know if you want to point this link to your um, internet demo pages or you know any any links or, or news items you have you can do that as well so the idea is you copy the file and you can basically change your images or link if required uh, but um, this is how you basically copy the site pages from one site to another site okay so we've seen that using power automate you can actually copy the sharepoint site pages from one site to another site or maybe the sharepoint homepage from one site to another site you can actually have it triggered manually or you can actually have it triggered automatically based on any events for example if the file is modified or something else happens to the file right i hope you learned something new today please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel if you have any comments please put them in the box below and i will see you next time thanks for watching